so that's the guy. That's the guy. That, that's the guy that's he, chasing him He was him down. making good on his promise, right? And, so this and, is not just random guy in the crowd. This is the guy who had threatened his life already. Yeah, and, and by the way, tactical lesson here. Somebody just threatened if he ever catches you alone, he's going to kill you. Right. You're alone. <laughs> right. Go with a buddy. Yeah. Go with a few guys, right? right? I mean, you're. Right. This is a bad, bad situation, right? Um, that's, that's one of the things he should. So, and by the way, maybe, maybe Rittenhouse was told to go here by himself. I did not listen to that testimony, but whoever told him to do that, if that's the case, yeah. probably shouldn't yeah. have, yeah. Yeah. right? I mean, much. Kyle's here. He is a 17 year old kid trying to right. trying to help things out, right? You know, send people out in pairs. So if yeah. you're going to be out there, or if you're going to do this, you, you need to make sure you're at least two, two or more. Some, I've heard of, I've heard of, who is it? Jesus says something like that. But this is this <laughs> two is two by two. This is just the beginning because now, as everybody knows, it gets ruckus, and this is where yeah. training you're just gonna and stop patience us right, there? right there, man. Right so, there. so you got to come back and hear how how you know Kyle handled what's, himself. What's going to happen? <laughs> <laughs> we kind of know the end of the story. <laughs> more cross politics coming up next. felt a dead trigger yeah that would be a sign that if you're doing some training okay my bolt is not home i gotta get my gun back into the action right quickly because i got a dude with a yeah. gun standing in front of me right oh that makes you yeah. so that's okay yeah hit pause right there game that's gauge gross crop right that's gross cruits yeah gross cruits. commie commie gross cruits yeah <laughs> and he shot his arm he shot his arm. So, Grosskreutz, so when Huber gets shot in the chest, Grosskreutz kind of jumps back and kind of holds his hands up and kind of crouches a little bit with his pistol up in the air. And Kyle does not take a shot at him. He's got a pistol in his hand. He's got a pistol in his hand, and Kyle does not shoot him until Grosskreutz, you know, he was, some people say he was feigning surrender. And then he decides to go ahead and bring the pistol down, point it at Kyle's head, and that's when Kyle shoots his, you know, blows his bicep apart. Right. And he, again, one shot, Grosskreutz, his arm goes down, but he's still holding that pistol. He's, he's got a right. Glock 27 in his hand. He's still holding that. Yeah, but Even Kyle after his bicep blown up, he's still holding. He's still holding. Because he's holding yeah. the but, gun. But, and, but he does, he kind of, he's the one, is he the one yelling medic? Yeah, yes. he is. Yeah, so he, he kind of st immediately, it, it at least is indicating. It disarmed him, basically. I'm, yeah, I'm, 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 I'm out of here. Yeah. I, I need a medic. So I, I have gone through this multiple times. I saw the, I think it was the New York Times or uh, New York Post, I can't remember which one, put it out, the full video, and they documented everything and walked through the whole piece. And I was surprised how well that they did this. First of all, how we have so much amazing amazing footage of this right and, and like I, I it's it's amazing the second thing is why do we have so much amazing footage of this <laughs> right like why why are people too comfortable being out in this situation they're filming even though they're not getting shot at they're watching the situation and they're, they're <laughs> filming people shooting each other and you just are comfortable with you know that's that that environment well and some of the footage is from the fbi Who's hanging out? Wow! Shut up! Wow. Watching? Yes, right. I mean, yep. wow. no, I didn't know that part. But, yeah, oh some of the God. some of the highest quality footage is is FBI, and some of it, the evidence fairy left on the prosecutor's doorstep partway through the trial. <gasps> really, the evidence fairy? Yes. Surprise! Hey, hey! Oh. And it turned out to be something that they that the prosecution said. Yes, it shows how Kyle was. <gasps> Was covering people with his with his weapon. Oh man, <laughs> I'm sorry. So you mean to tell me <laughs> that Biden's F oh Biden's FBI that the FBI was there and didn't engage? I there's FBI footage. I don't know. Don't know <laughs> how much. They, so then they know these people. Mm -hmm. they, <laughs> if they want to find these people, if they can find people on January sixth, surely yeah right. If they are here, they can. So yeah. you would think that the initial gunshot guy that caused Kyle to turn around right. might 
be found someday. Yeah. It was a uh, jump kick guy. They found him so late inside the game. So, okay. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So that makes so it's, or, or they found him early and they, they just dis- didn't dis- disclose it. Um, how, what kind of training does it take to be able to think like this in the split set? Because I'm looking at this, man, I train, I walk through stuff. I, my dad was a um, military guy, trained me to think a particular type of way about situations, so I'm always running through. But when I see this, if you've ever been in a fight and you've had your adrenaline maxed out, been able to even punch with the power that you have, it's not the same. You have to be trained how to use that adrenaline, to focus that adrenaline, yeah. to think clearly, because... it. When you, if you've never had a gun pulled out on you, you don't understand how you're really going to act, right? If you've never yeah. had, you have no idea how you're really going to act. And everybody who's, who I've seen it, like some of the church situations that have a gun pulled out on them, their response time is so slow, Yeah. right? And because they've never been in that situation before. But here Kyle is, I don't know if he's ever had a gun pulled out on him before, but his response and engagement is so sharp his auto loop right yeah yeah, yeah. Uh, observe orient um decide and then act right the auto loop right you go through that process as you go through things and his was operating at a fascinating speed yeah. i i think he was quite blessed in that regard right mm. i mean everything from from him holding off and making decisions the last last possible second or maybe even beyond and the, the shots of people, you know, when people are trying to take his weapon, yeah, the fact that he was able to disable them so quickly, right, rather than having an assailant that now is just slightly injured, I he was totally blessed, right? I, I don't, I mm. think that some of this is just, was, was just the blessing of God because I don't know how you train in the situation, right? I, I, mm. I, I think... I think you could end up with a lot of guys with a lot of training that wouldn't have acted quite this well, or they would have come in with a lot more bravado and Correct. and injuring Maybe more, more people. More people have been injured, yeah, than than necessary. Yeah, right. And you know, Kyle, he, he, even here where he gets up, there's gunshots going off, and he thinks he's being fired at. He turns around, and he's like, "I can't see anybody, you know, as a target, so <laughs> right. I'm just going to keep on running." And he's not running extremely fast, but. Boy, what great decision making by this kid! Yeah, so are you telling me then that you can't train for this? <laughs> no, I'm telling you, you can train for this. You, you've got to keep training. You've got to have the right skills, right? When he when he knew his weapon was dead and he needed to get back in the fight, if if you don't have any training right. with an AR-15, you're not going to know yeah. what to do. His, his at instinct all. was he just That's did right. it instinctively. Right. Yeah, yeah, it was okay. I know I've trained. I know what this is. Go ahead and hit that charging, yeah. charging yeah. hand. You want to finish this clip yep. just real quick? I mean, it's exactly what Shan just mentioned. His turns around, can't see his any target, and so he just starts jogging. Here you got police officers finally coming. Who are these yep. people in the street? Right. I mean. Who's that guy with the gun that just walked by? That was an officer. Okay. okay. Pretty sure. So here's Kyle running towards the police. What which by the way, putting his hands obviously up. not a threat, right? I mean he's he's running with his weapon slung on his chest, kind of close on his chest. Right. Obviously not a threat, which is what he had been doing ever since right. the uh-huh. first incident. Right, With Rosenbaum demonstrating how he wasn't actually a threat, right. even though these guys came and were jump kicking right. him and right. trying to take his weapon. Yeah, and he puts his hands up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> There's his hands up. He gets sprayed by the police, pepper sprayed. <laughs> yeah, and they actually told him to go home that night. Yeah, uh, and then they arrested him. I think the next morning or the, or the he following turned morning. himself in into his yeah, local right. police department because he couldn't actually get. To Kenosha because okay. Kenosha was so they're they were close, so busy they were close, they were close for business. Not, yeah, yeah. So there's a couple. I, there's so much I want to talk to you about, Shane. And, and anything you want to jump in here, jump in. Um, I, I think we've seen enough happen in America. We've seen the everybody knows that their city is subject at some point or another. Here, if something goes wrong, the BLM doesn't like, or they want something that they're not going to get. Our cities are going to pay for it. Minneapolis was ransacked and destroyed, right? Um, and so. It even tried to happen around here to the point that people, <laughs> right? In northern was, Idaho. By the way, I was actually here in Moscow um, 
when there was stuff and I was, I was hanging back just trying to make sure things were, were keeping good. an eye on things though. Yeah. I was okay, keeping so an eye on things. I was not obviously armed, but I was keeping an eye on why? things. I was also in, in communication with, with people within law enforcement, just to, mm -hmm. just to make sure that things didn't get. Well, well I remember riotous. when, when, um, when the riots were happening, I don't know what, what city was that in, in that was Coeur o, o, over, over in, no, there's one in Washington oh. outside of Seattle. Yeah. Where there's a there's a great shot. It didn't get a lot of um, press, but um, there was a whole line in downtown. Yeah. This little downtown city, and in, in, it, it, it's like it's, it's one of the sheriffs that's e been pushing back to east one of, of those. Seattle, yeah, yeah. east of Seattle, and you had cops and private citizens standing in a line with their their guns, standing there peacefully. Yep. And th in that evening, when you have those riots going on, you got these cars pulling in, people pop out. <laughs> yeah. They see a line of people with, yeah. like, not in our city. Not today, Satan. And then you see them, like, get back in their car, and they drive off. And it happens, you know, a number of times throughout the evening. And that happened in northern Idaho, too. Yeah, I, I think it happened in Coeur d'Alene yeah, yeah, as well. Yeah. And I think there were other places where people, to get, you know, working with law enforcement, yeah. um, uh, saying, hey, you're not going to destroy our businesses. You're not going to destroy our city. Yep. Um, we're going to defend our, our, our lives and our property here.